I was riding shotgun with Alex Jones on the Alex Jones show today, and I got to interview Joy Villa or Villa. She's uh, part African American, part Latino American, and she is a conservative Trump supporter. And of course, she is maliciously attacked and called the N word repeatedly by these deranged leftists in California. And Joy and her friend Elijah, who is a pastor who does a lot of youth, uh, Christian youth programs, and he's a he's also a, a pretty young guy, by the way. Both of these are are young people, and they. They go out there with a message of, of peace and love and love for humanity and love for America. And Joy is wearing like a Make America Great Again hat and a Trump shirt. And Elijah is wearing like a USA shirt. And these people go around peacefully with heart and passion and they get attacked everywhere. They get spit at. They get threatened. She gets called the N word. And these leftists are insane. And what's amazing is how Joy and Elijah, they simply demonstrate this. And I think Elijah's channel is called Slightly Offensive, by the way, Slightly Offensive. In fact, I've asked them to create a channel on Reel.video so we can start seeing their videos there. But these people are demonstrating the absolute derangement of leftists today who are out in the streets violently attacking people for being white and then violently attacking a half African American, half Latino American woman, Joy, attacking her because she likes Trump. I mean, think about what this nation has devolved into. The insanity that's on display every day by the radical left, how they, they want violence. They, they commit violence every chance they get. They, they want to silence you. They want to destroy you. They want to murder you, frankly. They're, they want to murder the president. They want to murder all the president's supporters. These leftists are deranged. They're insane beyond belief. I know I'm not telling you anything new that you didn't already know on that point. It's just that here it is, another, another confirmation, another kind of proof that that's exactly what's happening. I mean, they call a, a black woman the N-word because she's wearing a Make America Great Again hat. And she asks them calmly on camera, like, so why, why do you think Trump is bad? And they can't answer it. They just say, He's just bad. He's just bad. They, they have no reason and rationality behind any of their views. And that's, that's really indicative of what the left has become today. Irrational, insane people who can't explain any of their positions. They can't explain why they love socialism, for example. You've seen some of the videos, I, I would imagine, of, you know, like campus reform goes in to uh, the streets of the district of Ocasio-Cortez in New York, and they ask people, like, do you love the idea of the government giving you everything for free, free housing, free food, free phones, free health care? And people are like, yeah, that's awesome. We should have all that stuff for free. And then and then the, the camera guy or I'm sorry, the guy on video, the campus reform guy asked him, well, who do you think should pay for it or how should it be paid for? And the people are clueless. They're like, well, I don't know. I'm sure that somebody can come up with a way to pay for it. Or they say, well, the government should pay for it. And the guy's like, well, you do know the government gets its money by taking money from taxpayers, right? So you're saying the taxpayers should pay for it. And the people are like, okay, whatever. Just whatever. Just, just, just everything should be free. And it's like these people can't. They, they are so deranged and so ignorant. I mean, illiterate. They have no idea where money comes from or where government benefits come from. They don't know that the government has to take every dollar from somebody in order to give a dollar to somebody else. They have to confiscate it. Actually, they got to take more like $3 from one person to give $1 to somebody else because, the, you know, two thirds of it is waste, government waste and fraud, bureaucratic waste. It's insane. I'm telling you that leftism has become synonymous with just pure idiocy, just runaway lunacy and evil. All they want is violence and stupidity and collapse. They, they literally want to destroy everything that is good. They're all anti-God. They hate religion. They hate America. They hate law and order. And they, they're, just, they're just evil, deranged lunatics running around, violently attacking everybody, spitting on black people. I mean, it's like the left has become the new KKK. That, that's actually the best metaphor here. And 
Alex mentioned that on the show today. In fact, that's probably why it has come to mind. The left is the new KKK. They run, they run around in their masks. They're just black masks instead of white hoods, you know, and they just violently attack and and badger everybody and spit on people and attack black people, and call them the N word. No, the left is the new KKK. In fact, that, that should be the title of this podcast. The left, the left is the new is the KKK, which actually the left was also the old KKK because the, the KKK was started by Democrats and run by Democrats. And it was Democrats who argued against school integration and argued against the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and other very important historical um, issues. You know, I mean, the left, the left has always been about discrimination. They've always been full of hatred and intolerance. And for leftists to claim they're the ones who are tolerant and they're interested in equality. No, you're not. You're interested in murdering your political opponents, silencing them and spitting on them and calling them the N-word and committing violence against them on the streets. That's what you're interested in because you're evil. You are scum. You're not even human in terms of uh, human compassion or consciousness. You're like subhuman creatures of darkness, like, like demons from the depths of hell uh, rising up to try to destroy this world and suck everybody into your uh, hate-filled abyss. That's what left the left has become in America today. Demons. Like actual demons. Like worse than zombies. Z mindless zombies, that's one thing, but demons are like consciously evil. And that's what the left has become. Consciously evil. Like they love evil. They love destruction. They hate our world. They hate individual liberty. They hate prosperity. They hate health or reason. They want to destroy everything that, that they could possibly destroy. But they want to pretend like they're the only ones who care. Oh, we care about climate change. You made it up. It's b There is no such thing as man-made climate change. Carbon dioxide is not a poison. It's the number one most important molecule for promoting plant growth on our planet. We should beg for more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, people. Don't you get it? <laughs> Man. The thing is, I, I mentioned this too. We're not just at war with insane, delusional, violent leftists who are racist, bigoted, hate-filled demons. We're at war with irrationality. Because we want to live in a world of reason and rationality, civility, law, where people follow some basic rules. You know, we want to live in a reasonable world. And the left doesn't want that. They want their irrationality to dominate everywhere. They don't want reason. They hate logic. They hate laws. That's why they want to shut down prisons. They want to release all the felons all across America. This is part of the platform of leftists today. They march with signs that say no prisons, no borders, no profits. They want to destroy the free market. They want to open up the borders and just let everybody flood into the country. And they want to shut down the prisons and release the prisoners. And they want to destroy the cops, by the way. They don't want any police. And they want sanctuary city protection for all leftist criminals, mad rapists, illegal alien murderers who cross the border and then kill people. That The left believes those people should be forever immunized against any, any arrests or prosecution because they're illegals. Thus, they have the, the right to mass murder everybody in sight and rape anybody they want. This is what the left actually believes. It's not even hyperbole. They actually believe this. Th this is their policy. Do you get it? Their policies outline these things. Just look at the, the platform of people like Ocasio-Cortez, who's held up as the, the heroine of, of the left today. Thousands of interviews, you know, thousands of, of press outlets covering her as a goddess the next Barack Obama, all this kind of stuff. And her ideas are exactly, you know, shut down the prisons, release all the prisoners, open up all the borders, no border enforcement whatsoever, have the government seize all private business, take over everything. And then the left also wants to raise all federal tax rates to 50%. So the government puts a gun to your head and takes one out of every $2 that you thought you earned. They just put a gun to your head. Well, how else are they going to pay for all the free programs that all these delusional, illiterate, young left-wing morons think that that they want they want free everything free free health care free housing free food stamps they want government to pay for free education and it's not even an education it's an indoctrination center why should the government pay for that why should anybody pay for that you people are just being brainwashed 24 7 you call it a college degree a degree in i don't know social justice studies or some idiotic 
topic like that, you, you're not even learning anything. It's these college graduates that are the ones calling for socialism because they're morons. They don't know anything. It's unreal. But this, this has become America. It's, it's just, it's incredible. And Ocasio-Cortez hates white people, you know, and, and she hates the free market system. She hates anybody having a private business. She thinks that should be illegal, literally. These people want to collapse America. They want to destroy this country. They want to destroy the republic. They hate the Constitution. I mean, get it through your head. I, I know you're listening to this. You're like, well, what are we supposed to do? Well, get, get mad and take action, man. I mean, why aren't people waking up to this? How are people just going, sleepwalking through their lives every day, driving around with mass medication? They're on antidepressants and fluoride, and they're just clueless, and they're watching CNN, and like, I guess that makes sense. People, wake the F up. <laughs> you got you, you to gotta barrage your representatives in Washington. You got to get people out to, to vote against these lunatics. You need to join the protest. Join the, the Proud Boys. Join the prayer groups. That, that, that's what it's come to. You're going to have to defend yourself. Join these groups and get some, some things done. It's just, it's absolutely incredible what's happening in this country today. I don't know. I, I better even stop talking because there's just the things that actually need to happen in this country to take our country back. I can't even say. I cannot, I cannot put it into words. So I, I don't dare try. Just watch, watch more videos at Reel.Video, okay? Share those because that's our platform for free speech. It's the YouTube alternative, Reel.Video. Watch it there, okay? Post your own videos. Share the videos. Wake up your friends. Wake up your family members. Even if you lose some friends along the way, screw it. If they're leftists, they're, they're morons. You shouldn't have them as friends. You got to wake people up. You got to fight for what's, what, what you stand for here. I mean, stand for... You know, freedom, freedom to speak. Basic, fundamental human rights, for God's sake. That's what's up there. Thanks for listening. Mike Adams here. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.